Welcome everyone. Today we have a detailed video on how to make more Aurora. Let's go through a quick summary of the notes I have prepared, then I will go through each of the points in detail. The first and the quickest way to get Mora is by buying Mora with sigils from the specialty shop, and I can easily get 1.5 million Mora this way with my current resource, and this is repeatable as well. Followed by that, there is the daily leyline blossom, which you can farm the flowers for 20 resin each, and a total of 180 resin gives us about 300k Mora daily. After that, we can go into exploration and select the Mora rewards. For every 15 or 20 hours, we can get about 20k Mora, but there is an opportunity cost with this. After that, we can actually actively farm for Mora. Each of the chests not only contain a base Mora, they also contain a number of sigils, and the sigils will be used in the shop to purchase more Mora. We can also defeat monsters, elites, and also bosses for additional Mora. This goes from 26 to about 175 Mora each. After that, if we're still short on Mora, we can consider reducing the purchase from the daily shops. There are three shops, which I'll show you guys. The Lyrian shop, the Monstead, and also a field shop. They sell a variety of items, including mirrors, flowers, and herbs. And if we actually find those herbs ourselves, we don't have to make the purchase, we actually save a bit. The highlight is there's no selling. If you buy the items, you can't sell it back. So if you don't buy them, you're actually saving a bit of Mora. Lastly, there are a few of the non-repeatable methods. So the chapter investigations gives anywhere from 10 to 40k Mora each for each of the chapters. The spiral abuse, as you clear those with 3 stars, 6 stars, and 9 stars, you can get additional Mora. And finally, you can get Mora from site and world quest. You can Looking over here, I'm currently sitting on about 260k Mora after spending a lot of resources on upgrading my artifacts to level 12. And I'm a little panicking. So what I did first is I went to the quickest way to get Mora. And this is with the sigil shop. There is one diamond shop in each of the cities. Over here with Mostad, by going to the diamond shop in Mostad, you can see the two purchases of Mora. The first one is only a 60 limited Mora for pretty much double the Mora you can get. The second one is unlimited purchase of Mora with the sigils you get from the Aminal sigils. What you can do is you can purchase the first one and this will give the best price of money, of course. I'm purchasing this because I'm short of Mora. And with 60 sigils, we made 96k Mora. Now keep in mind, this does get halved after I purchase the first bunch. With every 60 sigils, I'll make 48k Mora. Similarly, if we come to the diamond shop in Lyrian Harbor, we can also purchase some Mora. You can see there's 120 purchase of the discounted Mora. After that, we can continue to purchase Mora with 800 per sigil. That is the Geo sigil over here. And of course, I'll be purchasing it. You can see how much Geo sigil I have. And by buying those, I made another 192,000 Mora. The biggest focus here is not on the discounted Mora purchase, but the ability to farm sigils and also use the sigils to purchase Mora. You can see I'm currently sitting at a total of 1,500 sigils, and this can be used to purchase over 1.2 million Mora in an instant if I need them. I'm not purchasing them right now because in case the other resources I still want to purchase, I can still use my sigils. But in the future, if I'm short on Mora, I know I can get 1 million Mora very quickly. Now you might say, hey, aren't those sigils you saved up from the entire playthrough of the game? Yes, but I also farmed a lot of sigils as I went. So let me show you guys a chest that I actually specifically to went to check the for the Mora and sigils. So here, this is a chest I actually looted around the Lyrian Harbor site. So we got 1000 Mora, 1070, and we also got four sigils. And the available loots for each of the chests will repeat. So basically, for each of the chests I tested, minimum 3000 Mora to be earned. So with the Lyrian chests I tested, so I got 1000 Mora, 900 Mora on base, I got four and three sigils. And I also tested a few of the monster chests. With the monster chest, 700, 800, you know, 1,100 Mora on the base from the chest, also three sigils and four sigils. So what that means is, on average, you're looking at 3,000 to 4,000 Mora from each of the chests. And because we know that we can find the chest pretty much in about two, three, or even five minutes, we can effectively get a lot of Mora just by looting chests. You also get adventure experience, you also get artifacts and weapons, which can be used for upgrades. And knowing that the chest in the game actually responds, so every one to three days, the chest that is protected by mobs with a red circle actually responds in the game. And I'll show you guys in a special video how to find those chests and how to find them quickly and get a lot of resource. So just for now, knowing that the chest responds, we can effectively repeat this for more Mora and more resource. I'm sure most of us have noticed that there is the gold flower that we can get Mora. And at my current level, Adventure 30, I get about 36,000 Mora for each of the 20 reason I can spend. Knowing that we get one reason every 8 minutes, we get 180 total reason over 24 hours. 
and if we use all the reason of Mora daily, we get up over 300k Mora. But there is a small cost to it. You are not farming the additional resource. And in the end game, if you find everything you wanted, or if you shot a Mora, you can do this. For now, I don't recommend it. I will be posting another reason guide to show you guys what are the best methods and what are the best choices every day to farm with your reason. And of course, if you're short on Mara or if you're in a rush to spend your reason, it is not a bad choice to spend on the Mara flowers because those are easy camps and also this definitely give you something useful. Coming over to the expedition, I actually said exploration earlier. So basically come to the expedition over here with the adventure guild lady and you can see there's a number of choices. One of the choice will be Mara. And you can see that if you put on 20 hours, you can get 5,000 Mora. Similarly, over here, you can find the Moira choices and you got 5,000 for 20 hours. And if you select a character that has the reduction to 25% timing, every 15 hours, you can get 5,000 Mora. But I do not recommend doing this simply because there's a lot of better resources which are limited in the game compared to Mora. Mora can be farmed unlimited with a chest. So in return, the opportunity cost, if you did this, is that you get about 20k Mora, but you're actually losing out on a lot of minerals. I'm really going deep into my minerals, and I want to make another guide on this as well to show you guys why it's important to get minerals. Now, for most of us that might not be aware of this, you can actually buy minerals and herbs from the shops from the city, and there's also field shops you can purchase. So what's happening is, instead of finding the minerals, it's actually a shop owner that sells minerals, and this will repeat. They will reset the shop after a certain period of time, usually over one to two days, and you can continue to purchase those minerals. And the downside is you actually spend a lot of mora if you're actually not hunting those yourself. I'll show you guys where the shops are in each of the cities, and also I'll show you guys a specialty shop over here as a small bonus. So over here, we're at Leering Harbor, and right next to the portal sign, what you're going to see is you're going to see a guy who is actually called, what's his name? <laughs> He's called Shutu. And Shutu is the Jade Mystery Guy, and he's asking you if you want to bet on jades, but he actually just sells minerals. <laughs> so, this is like a popular thing in the Chinese method to bet on jades in the real life as well. So, over here, he sells three minerals. The Iron Chunk, the White Iron Chunk, and also the Jade. I used to buy the Jade, but I don't buy it as much now. <laughs> I actually miscounted out at least 10,000 per Jade. So, basically, those minerals can be purchased here. And it's a recent timer. You can see that the shop refreshes every two days and you know 13 hours and what that means is if i bought those two days later i can buy them again so if you really short on minerals you can come over here but if i start to farm those i don't have to buy them as badly because i'm short on mora similar to the mineral shop in Luring harbor in mostad there's actually a small flower shop this little lady here actually sells flowers and if you talk to her she will sell quite a bit of flowers and if you're needing the flowers to awaken your character, or if you need the flowers for anything particular, you can come over here. Keep in mind, although it doesn't look too expensive, I can find a lot of Selita in the wild, and I can't sell them for a thousand gold each, and she's selling them for a thousand, so they're very expensive. Do not buy them if you know where to find it. And just in case you guys didn't know about it, there is an interactive world map site which shows you where to find what resource. For example, if I'm actually really short on the crystals and the minerals, what I do is actually highlight over here to show me on the map where I can find them. And similarly, you can do that for flowers as well. It is very helpful, and this allows you to find the minerals instead of having to purchase them in the shop. I also attach a link for this website in the description below for us. And finally, for the field shop bonus, what you can do is you can teleport over here on this particular waypoint, and it's next to the Windrise waypoint. Or the statue so teleport over here and aim for this particular region notice where my mouse is aim for this particular region on the road there is a small lady that actually sells particular herbs over there and they're quite rare so over here you can see me running on the road and i discovered her on the side of the road she can be on the left and the right side check behind the bushes and look for the name the name should have a blue title underneath is the botanist which is the herbalist and by speaking to her you can actually find some very rare herbs and sometimes those herbs can be essential for food making and also for character awakening. So the character progression can use them as well. So if you're short of those, definitely come over here. I wouldn't say this is a ripoff compared to the other two. I mean, the minerals are okay. The flower in the monster is kind of ripoff, right? So those are not bad because they're so rare and I don't have much of the lower ones. So I sometimes still purchase them. But as I go short on Mora, I stop purchasing them until I really need those. 
As for the known repeatable methods, I will quickly show you guys the chapter investigation, the spiral boost, and also you know what to do with the side quest and world quest, of course. So for the chapter investigation, it is over here on the top corner, and I'll show you guys a hotkey for that. If you hold down to tab on your computer, you can actually go over here just by holding down to tab. I recently discovered this, it's so helpful because I don't have to use my mouse anymore, <laughs> at least for now. So basically coming over here to the chapter investigation, what you can do is you can go into the Basically, it's over here, and you can see from chapter one, you can get morals from certain quests. As long as you complete them, you will get the mora, and this mora goes up further. Now it's twenty thousand mora, and there's another twenty thousand on chapter four, and twenty-five thousand, twenty-five thousand. So you get quite a bit by following those. If you guys haven't looked into it, definitely try this because it's not too difficult. And the only limitation we have is the adventure level. And on top of that, if you go to the boss category, and if you are on your way to farm a few of the bosses for your particular characters for items that helps them to limit break their levels, you can see that they also drop Mora. Usually the boss drops anywhere from 40 to 175 Mora. I actually tested it out. So a few of them drop 175, a few of them drops 40. This one drops 40, by the way. So those are not the efficient way to get Mora, but if you are on your way to farm monsters, you will get some Mora as well. To summarize this video, we can get quick mora over one minute mora very quickly with the sigils we have built up in the bag. And after that, what we can do is we can go and farm more sigils with the chest. We also got adventure XP. We also get a lot of materials for artifacts and weapons. Followed by that, if you have a lot of reason and if you don't have time or if you really need the mora, you can go and activate the flowers for 20 resin for 36k mora. But of course, I wouldn't recommend spending your resin on the particular flower for mora at this moment. I'll make a particular guide for you guys and the best way and the choices you should think about before you spend your resin. Similarly, if you find yourself short on Mora, you can consider purchasing less of the minerals and herbs. But if you haven't heard of the shops before, definitely check it out because they do have a close to 3 day reset time. And if you're really short on particular mineral for crafting your weapon, we should make a guide for that as well, yes. And if you're really short on the flowers and herbs, definitely check those shops out, they're really helpful. And finally, of course, Mora is used for every upgrade and we should not waste it. This is because in the mid to late game, as you get to adventure level 25 and 30, especially 35, you find the shops so short on Mora. And it is such a good investment for us to start collecting Moras right now before we get to those higher levels. Now, if you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe and also click the bell for more videos like this to come. As always, I wish you guys best of luck in catching and also have a great time exploring this beautiful world. I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everyone.